Yo guys, how's it going? Welcome to episode 3 of season 2 here with Manchester City on FIFA 18. I hope everyone is having a brilliant day today. As you can see, the only scheduled pre-season game we have at the moment is the semi-final here against PSG. If we do beat PSG and get through to the final, which takes place on the 3rd, on the Friday there, then today's episode will obviously be the semi-final and the final. But if we don't beat PSG and we get knocked out, it'll be a few highlights of this PSG game and then we'll get straight into the competitive season against Manchester United and Barcelona. So, the other semi-final is Barcelona and Catalica. We had Catalica in our group. I don't know why I'm going into the tables. We had Catalica in our group. We beat them 1-0. Yeah, Barcelona, Catalica. So, I'm expecting Barcelona to actually get through, of course. But, football is a funny old game. Anything could happen. So, let's kick today's episode off with the semi-final here against PSG. Get through to the final and lift the pre-season tournament trophy. It'll be the perfect way to go into the season. Marlos Moreno inside here to Fabinho. Left hand side is Goretz. Let's go straight into Aguero. Right, here we go. Just try and get my foot on the ball and get some control of this game. Marlos Moreno into Fabinho. Goretz go forward to Aguero. First time into Isco. Right hand side is Marlos Moreno. What a pass. Across to the back post. Lee Roissan is arriving. Oh, what a save. With a loop in the header going towards the back post. But what a save from the goalkeeper. Six minutes into the game. Could have been and maybe should have been 1-0. But a corner comes in and it gets cleared away. But it's only going to fall here to Fabinho. I'm going to go wide. Turn back and whip it across. It's a dangerous one. And again, it gets headed away. Good tackle from Fabinho. Right, here we go. Into Aguero. Left-hand side. What a pass into Leroy Sane. It's about to say Raheem Sterling. But a strike. It's Leroy Sane. I don't know why I was about to say Raheem Sterling, but that really should have been 1 0. We didn't even hit the target. Only strong left foot as well. Didn't even hit the target. We definitely should be at least 1 0 up in this game so far. We have been dominant in the opening 12 minutes. Marlos Moreno out to the right hand side in Aguero. No, it's not Aguero, is it? It's Leroy Sane in the middle. Isco, Isco, 1 0, surely. Not even hit the target. 20 minutes in. How the hell? What a perfect angle as well. Look at the space he had. Where is their defence? Not sure the keeper would have got there if it was on target. But how the hell we not 1-0 up? Caligari on the ball for PSG. Out to the left-hand side in Hesse. Now Cavani back to Hesse. Going to turn it back onto his left foot. He's got loads of space to work with. Plays it short into Cavani. He's going to fall here to Demonsi. Open goal for Cavani. Hits the post. And Goretzka gets the ball away. Caligari with the throw in into Hesse. He plays it backwards here to Lau. Back into Caligari. This is good play from PSG. Seconds before the break. Are they going to go 1 0 up? Hesse a shot to the near post. And I think that's going to wrap up the first 45 minutes. Dominant 45 minutes from myself. The last couple of the last 10 minutes or so of the second half, they, they started to get back in the game. But other than that, total domination. I don't know how we aren't winning this match. Marlos Moreno charging towards the defence. Look at this. The pace on this guy is unbelievable. Great turn as well. Across the back post, surely. Oh, Leroy Sane's got back up. Leroy Sane was on the floor as I crossed the ball. And he got back up and scored with a diving header. What a legend. Oh, my God. I have to see a replay of that. I really didn't think he was going to get up in time to even have a shot, let alone finish it off like that. Wow. As I crossed it, it's not even going to... No, he's not down on the floor there. Different camera angle, please. Different camera angle, please. It's not even going to show it, is it? But he was down on the floor and he got back up and scored a diving header. Unbelievable. 1-0. Get in there. De Monsi through to Cavani. Out to the right-hand side. This is great play. Oh, he's totally skipped past me. Plays it short to De Monsi. A great one too. And the keeper makes a brilliant save at his near post. 67 minutes played all of a sudden in the last five minutes or so psg have come alive corner kick in coming is it no nope. the corner kick taker there hesse is getting subbed oh okay neymar's coming on <laughs> okay neymar taking the corner here are they going to play it short there's a player coming short but he plays it to that near post and thankfully we get it away here we go isco 
out to the right hand side in Marlos Moreno right he's got quick legs so I'm going to keep going onto his left foot oh he's done two players out to the right hand side or left hand side in Leroy Sane but Verratti gets in the way what's he going to do with it going to play it back to the goalkeeper and the goalkeeper does a smart thing can we win this in the air yes we can kind of not sure if we won it cleanly but we are in possession Marlos Moreno nice ball into Isco and it gets blocked 20 minutes left and I'm not sure this second half as I'm playing it seems as though it's been pretty dead so I'm not sure if there has been anything what I can remember of I don't think there's been anything big that's happened Isco on the ball oh what a turn that is that is an unbelievable turn into Lee Rosani back to Isco Lee Rosani gonna get oh Jesus did he get the ball that was a crunching tackle Fabinho onto his right foot a strike from Fabinho across the keeper brilliant save 15 minutes left to play and I'm going to make some changes just to freshen things up. Moreno looking very, very tired. Going to bring on Patrick Roberts. Diaz for Isco. Left-hand side, Leroy Sane for Raheem Sterling. And in the middle, going to bring off Fabinho for Garcia. Hopefully he can push us on, grab that second goal and kill this game off and get through to the pre-season tournament final. PSG moving forward here. Demonsi Jimenez picks up the ball. Here we go. Right hand side, three against one, now two against one. Kevin De Bruyne going to play it to his left hand side. Surely this has to be game wrapped up. It's Sergio Aguero. What a finish. No keeper in the world would have saved that. Right into the top corner, two minutes before the end of the game. And Sergio Aguero has killed it. We are through to the preseason tournament final. Get in there. Through to the final we go with a very good performance against a strong PSG side. The other semi-final featured Barcelona. I can't quite remember who they were facing but I'm guessing we are going to get Barcelona in the final. Let's find out who we've got in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So as you can see for yourself we haven't got Barcelona. Catalica here. A Chilean team beat Barcelona in the semi-finals on penalties. It ended 0-0 and Catalica won 4-3 on penalties. Unbelievable. I definitely wasn't expecting that. But here we go. Early attack. Gabriel Jesus. Very heavy touch. But here we go. Left-hand side. Foden into Garcia. Easy save in the end for the goalkeeper. But a very bright start. Garcia into Douglas Luiz. And that was a very heavy touch. But can we win this? Nope. Can we win the second ball? Yes, we can. Danea wins the ball. Here we go. Humphreys Grant. Don't know why he's still in that sort of position. He should have charged back towards his position in defence. But here we go. Panea on the ball to the right hand, left hand side, should I say. What a pass into sender. Good save from Edison. Wow, early scare here from the Chilean team. But hopefully I can grab the ball and get my foot back on the ball. Gabriel Jesus, left hand side is Diaz. Referee, yellow car please. There we go. Well done, ref. 50 minutes into the game. And it's been, it was a good opening five minutes, but since then, I have not really seen the ball that much. But here we go, Garcia to the right-hand side is Gundogan. Running through the middle is Gabriel Jesus. Open goal for anyone, no. Plays it back to the goalkeeper, and they get it away. It was straight at the goalkeeper for an easy save. Maybe I should have done better there with Gabriel Jesus. Taking a touch, trying to cut inside maybe, but... In the end, another simple save for the goalkeeper. Actually, I don't know why I'm saying another simple save for the goalkeeper. Has he made a save already? Gabriel Jesus on the ball still. Here we go. Charging towards the defence. Look at this one. Gabriel Jesus off the crossbar. Unbelievable. Wow. <laughs> 22 minutes in and how the hell are we not winning? Lorenz on the ball, plays it to his right hand side. But thankfully, Douglas Luiz is just too strong. Mangala forward here to... Garcia, it's not been the best of games so far, Gundogan, can we get another attack going, Bernardo Silva to the left hand side is Douglas Luiz right, here we go, over the top, that's a brilliant pass, brilliant touch as well from Garcia I'm going to whip it across to the back post, it's a good one, going to lay it off into the box oh, it's just over here I thought he was actually going to head that down to I'm not sure who that was running in, I think it was Diaz, is that number 20, is that is that, is that uh, Bernardo Silva, I'm not so sure there is it Bernardo Silva? We can find out now. Yeah, it's Bernardo Silva. I thought he was going to lay it off to him, but just over here. And it's a free kick. Five minutes before the break. Like I said, not been the greatest of games so far. But hopefully, once I've grabbed the first goal, hopefully I will grab the first goal. That will kind of settle me into it and kill them off a little bit. But here we go. Bernardo Silva. Was that Bernardo Silva? I'm not even sure. I'm so confused about where players are 
like I said in the last game, I think it was the semi-final. You have to bear with me because of a new formation. Players are in totally different positions. But to send her inside here to Panea. Is he going to have a shot towards goal? He does. Brilliant save from Edison. Seconds before the break. And I think oh, I've just given him a corner. I should have just whacked the ball away. But seconds before the break. Are they going to go 1-0 up? Hopefully not. It's a decent corner. Keeper's going to come and punch. But it's going to fall here to a Catalina player. Rollis on the ball. Back out to the corner kick taker Gutierrez. Is he going to whip it across? He does. It's a dangerous one. And Mangala gets it away. And there is the halftime whistle. Late scare. Probably should have been 1-0 to them. But we've had a few other opportunities up the other end. And we should be winning this game. But hopefully I can grab the third. It wasn't even on target. There, shot. You see that? One shot. And it wasn't even on target. So the keeper, whether he saved it or not, it was going wide. But hopefully I can grab an early goal in this second half. And... Just kill them off because I think if I grab the first goal, that'll be it. Gundogan picking up the loose ball. Here we go. Turn it on to his right foot. Who's running to the right-hand side? Is it going to get through? No, Descender does well. Oh, maybe that was the wrong pass. But we're going to win possession here with Bernardo Silva. But apparently that's a free kick. Really, ref? How on earth is that a free kick? Sort your life out, mate. Ten minutes into the second half and... It's not been the greatest of games so far. It's been a pretty boring final, I'd say. What I can think of, anyway. There might be quite a few highlights. And I might be just talking absolute rubbish. But the sender whips it across. The keeper comes out and totally don't know what he was doing. But we do get it away. But the sender back on the ball. Gutierrez. And it's 1-0. It's 1-0. New, 1-0 new, one new <laughs> to the Chilean team. Wow, what a finish though. I have to say that is an unbelievable finish. Clips in off the post as well to make the finish look even better. I don't know what the keeper was doing there. I know I whacked it away from him, but it was still kind of a weird dive. Even if the if, if I did leave the ball, I don't even think the keeper would have saved it. But what a finish that is. 1-0 to the Chilean team, Catalica. Lorez on the ball to his right-hand side. Are oh, they going to go 2-0 up? No, good save from Edison. Oh my god, I'm crumbling. I am crumbling. 65 minutes played and that really should have been 2-0. And basically game over. Very good cross as well. Oh my god. I need to up my game because this is a joke. I cannot lose this final to no disrespect. But to a Chilean team, I should be beating them. I should be beating them. But here we go. Can we get an attack going? Garcia in the middle to Gabriel Jesus through to Phil Foden dummy shot onto his right foot oh it's beautiful Phil Foden no it's a simple save in the end for the goalkeeper oh 20 minutes left to play I really want to make some subs to freshen things up and bring on the big guns well this wasn't the plan Catalina knocked out Barcelona in the semi-final and have now beaten us in the final fair play to them I'm not going to take anything away from them but I'm not watching them lift the bloody trophy. They don't deserve it. But considering I was changing up the team every single game, it's been a pretty good preseason. So as you can see, quite annoyingly, Angelino's transfer talks have broken down between him and Sevilla. I mean, Sevilla are a very good team and it's in the Spanish league. So it just confuses me why he wouldn't accept that move because he's not going to be playing here at Manchester City so it just confuses me I really don't know what is going on but pre-season has finished obviously a disappointing end losing in the final to Catalina but fair play to them like I said fair play to them not going to take anything away from them they beat Barcelona on penalties in the semi-final and then beat Manchester City in the final so in the next episode we have the Community Shield against Manchester United then literally a couple of days later the Copa Europe against Barcelona but before I get into the community shield against Manchester United I'm going to be doing a squad report so it gives you guys an idea of the current squad we have and if you think we need any additions probably one or two additions maybe but that is going to conclude this video I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you in the next one thanks so much for watching guys have a brilliant day peace